What to look for in fundoscopic exam? You have to recognize the key parts of the retina, the optic nerve head, optic disc, and the macula. The optic disc is found by tracing any of the blood vessels to the point of coalescence, towards the nasal area. The vertical height of the pale central cup of the optic nerve head is compared to the overall vertical diameter of the optic disc, give a figure called the cup-to-disc ratio. A normal optic cup occupies about a third of the total optic nerve head. So, we can say the normal optic cup-to-disc ratio is 0.3. An increased cup-to-disc ratio indicates a reduction in healthy neuroretinal tissue, and raises the suspicion of increased intracranial pressure. The macula is found lateral or temporal to the optic disc. The central part of the macula, known as the fovea, is about the same diameter as the optic disc and appears darker than the rest of the macula due to the presence of an additional pigment. In normal fundus, you also need to evaluate the vessels. The arteries appear bright red, compared to veins, slightly purple and darker. The arterial to venous ratio is about 2 to 3. Arteries are narrower and thinner than veins. Veins usually have pulsation. The vessels are divided into four quadrants, supranasal, inferonasal, suprotemporal, and inferotemporal. If you find this video helpful, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks.